Welcome to African Voices. I'm Ari Chopo. And this week, we're featuring change makers who are planting seeds to add innovation to their country's farming industries. In Cameroon, an entrepreneur has come up with some modern ways to improve organic farming. Cameroon is a country that is blessed with so many things. We are too blind to see the blessings that Cameroon has for us today. One of our greatest blessings is the blessing of agricultural productivity. My dream someday is to see more Cameroonians, more Cameroonian youths in particular, get involved in agriculture. I promote Climate Smart Greenhouse Farming. My name is Roland Formundam and I am a change maker. Roland Formundam is on a mission to transform Cameroon's agriculture sector and he plans to do it one greenhouse at a time. Welcome, we're here in one of our greenhouses in the city of Bomono, just on the outskirts of, of Douala. His company Greenhouse Ventures builds low-cost greenhouse structures throughout Cameroon to help increase the quality and quantity of fruit and vegetable production. If we were able to stabilize production, we would go a long way in being able to stabilize market prices. And that is what gave us that motivation to believe in the aspect of greenhouses. Our goal was first of all targeting crops that would normally be imported being able to grow them at equal or higher value. From there, we started focusing on short-term crops because we realized that the majority of farmers focus on cash crops. And the only way we could actually attract and retain youths in agriculture was actually focusing on crops that had shorter cycles. And these were vegetables for the most part. Today, the CEO is rolling up his sleeves to help out his team. In this greenhouse in particular, it measures 8 meters by 15 meters and uh, it contains about 350 plants of bell peppers. Uh, these bell peppers have been growing for the last two and a half months and today we are going to be harvesting on the second time. The average uh, harvest we're going to have in here today would go to about 60 kilograms and we're going to be harvesting this amount almost every two weeks. But one of the unique things about what we have here is that these colored bell peppers are normally not grown in Cameroon. They're normally being imported. And we are the very first to start growing these bell peppers locally and selling them to local markets. It's not just bell peppers. Other top selling items include tomatoes, green beans and zucchini. Today, we have been able to shorten the distance from farm to market for a wide variety of produce. Our vision is to make sure that in the next five to 10 years, we are able to produce over 80% of vegetables consumed in Cameroon and the countries abroad. But Roland didn't always have a green thumb. Growing up, I have to say that I never knew what I wanted to become. Because for one reason, I had no one to look up to. I lost my father at a very young age, so I think growing up in the house of all boys, we had to find our own way. And one thing was for sure, I had always wanted to become a change maker. After earning a degree in technology entrepreneurship in the United States and spending more than a decade abroad, he says he wanted to make a difference back home, so he bought a one-way ticket to Cameroon. After years of living in the United States, I decided to move back home to promote sustainable technology development. But at a certain point I realized that those beneficiaries couldn't afford our technologies. Which is why we came up with the idea of being able to introduce a technology that could actually improve the economic lives of farmers. In our early days, many casted doubts to a point where I could have given up. But the passion, the drive, the commitment, and the courage is what has kept me going. To expand their reach across Cameroon, 
He says each greenhouse is uniquely designed to fit the country's diverse climate and vegetation. We are proud to say that we are able to customize and adapt the greenhouse technology in every eco ecological zone in the country. Today, we have farms that belong solely to greenhouse ventures, and we have other farms that belong to our partners, as well as we came up with a franchise model to make sure that we can increase the propagation of greenhouses all over Cameroon. Here we are in the village of Dibonberry. It's a village on the outskirts of Douala, where we have one of the largest uh, farms we are looking to set up here in Douala. Here we are looking to set up over 30 greenhouse farms. But not only that, we are also doing outdoor uh, cropping, where we're going to be complementing that with the greenhouses that we are building on site. While Roland has planted the seeds for success, he says he's missing a key piece of the puzzle, the youth. You realize that there is no youth today that is proudly involved in agriculture the way we here at Greenhouse Ventures are. And uh, we had to find the many ways that we could get involved in agriculture, not only ourselves, but how we could also attract other youths and retain them. Because we believe that agricultural development in Cameroon goes a long way to improve development of the country as a whole. Coming up, see how Roland is inspiring the next generation of agriculturists. Roland Fomundam is reshaping Cameroon's agriculture sector. The key thing here is very, very specific. Understanding the agricultural opportunities that we have in Cameroon and how do we take advantage of those opportunities. He's been building greenhouses in Cameroon since 2014. His company, Greenhouse Ventures, builds these structures complete with low-cost climate smart technology. Today he's showing us how they're made. We're here at our main engineering site where all greenhouses are being manufactured. Normally on a day-to-day -day basis, we have two teams that work here day and night. Normally it takes us about two days to manufacture one full greenhouse. And once on site, it takes another two days to set it up. So in a matter of about a week, we can set up about five greenhouses in whatever site we are working on. The plastics that allow, that prevent and allow rain and sunlight, then you also have the nets on the sides that allow for wind and ventilation. And of course, with all of that, those are mechanical barriers that allows that you can actually prevent certain things from going into the greenhouses. Roland and his team know what it takes to produce a bountiful yield. Currently, we actually supply the entire national territory in Cameroon. We have different market segments, from supermarkets to hotels to restaurants, and also home deliveries. To keep the momentum going, he's relying on the younger generation to take part. Many people see agriculture as a means to an end. Many people don't see the value of agriculture as a whole. How do we attract and retain youths in second generation agriculture? Roland launched the Greenhouse Academy to encourage others to join him and pass on the lessons he's learned. We had to find many ways to transfer the knowledge that we have acquired over the years, which is why the Greenhouse Academy was born. It is not only about having production, but also changing the way the market system really works. We give our learners a wider experience and a wider understanding as to why greenhouse farming makes much sense. And of course, being able to understand the intricate challenges that could be faced on the field. Sometimes it takes us to the classroom. And then we have another section where we take practicals in a real greenhouse. That's where students learn the tricks of the trade firsthand from experts across the continent. Having a greenhouse is one thing, but having the technical know-how is another thing. You can have the greenhouse, but if you don't know how to manage that greenhouse, then uh, you will definitely fail. Before I came to Cameroon, I was in Nigeria uh, working and uh, a farm there doing also greenhouse farming. Uh, I worked there for about two years. Then I met Mr. Roland. I saw what he's, he's trying to do in Cameroon and what he has already done. Then that drove me to come and join him and be part of this great dream. 
we could also be able to share videos and have testimonials from individuals from other countries who share with us their own experiences so that we are able to adapt those challenges to our own current situations and create solutions for them. That way, we here in Cameroon become more a bedrock of solutions in greenhouse farming. Roland is confident this new crop of agriculturists will take the industry to the next level. So for us, it's creating that blend that makes agriculture a very enjoyable sector to be in and something that people should aspire to get into. I want to be able to see a Cameroon where the youths are the dominant population in agriculture and agricultural investment. As he believes the future of agriculture in Cameroon is ripe for success. We have a lot of untapped potentials that if tapped, I think it goes a long way to increase our level of development and level of growth as a country in general. We believe that Cameroon can become a major, major producer of a wide variety of crops, fruits and vegetables using these greenhouses. But above all, we look forward to a Cameroon where agriculture takes the front seat. And in so doing, Cameroon would become a rich, prosperous and very sustainable country.